explosion at the lab affected you as well. As a result, your skin color changes depending on the emotion you're feeling. Can't let anyone see my weird skin colors now, can I? Nope, not in a million years, Mel. Ugh, who would ever be friends with someone like you? I have the perfect plan just for her. Look what I made, Dad! Look what I made! It's a doll made out of paper! Isn't that so amazing, Dad? I bet you think it's amazing, don't you, Dad? Um, oh, wow, Mel, this is, uh, uh incredible! Um, I can't believe you can already make these things by yourself! Sweetie, you shouldn't be here, you know? Accidents can happen easily if you're not careful. Besides, your dad and I have some really important work today. Wait for us outside, will you? But, but I just wanted to see you working, Mom. Besides, you promised to take me to the ice cream store this time, remember? I totally forgot last time, so I came here to remind you. I'm going to make sure you don't forget our promise this time. We understand, Mel. How about this? I promise to take you to the ice cream store this time, okay? Just wait for us outside now, will you, sweetie? It's not safe here, and you know that. Mom and Dad will be with you after we're done. Oh, fine. But you two better not forget this time. I'll wait outside all day if I have to. Mom! Mom! Are you okay? Let me help! Let me- No, Mel! Stay away from me or you'll get infected! Oh, come on! Did I really have to break my ankle right now? Honey! I'll help you! It's- it's okay! Everything's gonna be okay. Just stay where you are. Mel, get out of here right now, okay? Mom and I will be just fine, but you can't stay here. shelter immediately. Dad, I, I'm scared. I can't leave you two here. I just can't. Mel, there's no time for that right now. There's nothing you can do. Just get out of here right now. I promise me and Dad will be okay. We'll come and find you, okay, Mel? For now, just get out of here. I promise we will find you. This place won't hold out much longer, Mel! Get out of here now! Oh, Dad! I... <laughs> So sorry you had to go through that. One week? I, I didn't realize. <gasps> Wait! What about mom? Dad! What happened to them? What happened to them, nurse? Are they here? I want to see them now. I want to see my mom and dad. Oh, Mel. I'm so sorry. The explosion. It destroyed the entire lab with everyone in it. I'm afraid... I'm afraid your parents couldn't make it, Mel. <laughs> it's all my fault. I distracted them. I should never have gone into the lab while they were working. My family is gone because of me. Mel, listen to me. You're tired right now and have a lot on your mind. Why don't you take a nap and we'll talk about this later, okay? I know you feel responsible for what happened. I can't imagine what you're going through. But take a rest for now, will you? I promise we'll talk about this later. <sighs> okay. Thank you, nurse. I don't think it will help, but I'll try.
better now, I guess. Wait a minute, who is this other nice lady, nurse? Mel, dear, this is Anna. She's the one who found you unconscious outside the lab when it got destroyed. Now that you're feeling better, why don't you say thank you to her? Whoa, really? Thank you so much, um, Miss Anna. It's okay, love. I'm just glad that you're safe. I was so worried when I saw you outside all alone. Your skin color was extremely strange as well. I thought you might have already passed away. Huh? <gasps> strange skin color? What do you mean, Miss Anna? Is there something wrong with me? Actually, Mel, that's why both of us are here. You see, the explosion at the lab affected you as well, even though you were safely outside. As a result, your skin color changes depending on the emotion you're feeling. Nurse told me this has happened before to other patients. Your skin color changes to red when you're angry, white when you're neutral, purple when you're in shock, such as right now. skin color to change, nurse. I look so strange. What will everyone think of me? What if no one wants me around? What if no one wants to be my friend anymore? People will call me really unusual or much worse. Mel, dear, don't say that. I don't care one bit whether you look strange or not. I still care for you the same way. In fact, I've been thinking of taking care of you as your mother from now on. What do you say, Mel? Would you like to be part of my family? Really? My... my stepmother? You really mean that, miss? A lot of orphanages can be very lonely, Mel. But Anna is more than happy to take care of you. Just like how your mom or dad would. I don't want you to end up in an orphanage for the rest of your life, and neither does Anna. Thank you, Miss Anna. I... I don't know what to say. You're so kind. Well, for starters, you can simply call me Anna or just Mom. <laughs> this is so amazing, Anna. I love this place. I could run around here all day. I knew you'd like it, love. I think this will be a great new beginning for you, don't you think? Oh, that reminds me. Do I have a dad too, Anna? I haven't seen him around. Is he working late today? Well, actually, love, that's a little complicated. I'm back, Anna! Today's shift was shorter than usual. No, oh, and who is this lovely young lady? Keeping secrets from me now, are you, Anna? Ollie, say hi to our newly adopted daughter. Isn't she lovely? You've always wanted to adopt a child, right? Well, here you are. That's right, love. Ollie will be your loving father from now on. How does that sound? He is an amazing person, so you'll grow to like him immediately. So I get to have a mom and a dad? That's so amazing! This is the best family ever! Aw, thank you, Mel. Anna, can I have a word with you in private? Anna, uh, about the elephant in the room, um, why does Mel's skin color change like that? Is it like a condition or something? <laughs> oh, I don't understand everything about it, but oh, I'm so glad you decided to adopt her. I can't wait to spend our lives together with her. 
plus. This means that there's no way Mel can hide her emotions. I'll totally know the day that she falls in love with some cute boy from her future high school. She'll literally be blushing all over. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, let's see who can run the fastest around this room. Ready? Yes! You're totally gonna lose, though. No one can beat my speed. Change the alarm again. Woke up an hour earlier than I should. Actually, I have more time to do my makeup. Can't let anyone see my weird skin colors now, can I? Nope, not in a million years, Mel. Not in a million years. That should do it. Well, time for breakfast. So, Mel, you're growing so fast, aren't you? I remember how you were when we first met. And now look at you, 17 years old and as beautiful as ever. <laughs> you're too kind. I bet all the boys at school go crazy when you're around. I still can't wait for the day I see your skin turn bright pink. Dad, stop it. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Well, Ollie, she wouldn't tell us even if it were true. But you're right. I bet some boys are already under your spell, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, can we just please stop talking about boys? Oh, speaking of which, time to go. Bye, Mom and Dad. I'll see you two later. Bye, sweetie. Say hi for me to all the cute boys who talked to you today. Cut it out, Dad! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Mel. I was waiting for you. You arrived just in time, as always. Of course, I already knew you would. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Drew. I totally forgot me and Sondra would run late this time. We accidentally ran into a clothing store and she wouldn't leave. Hey, not true. I was only there for... for an hour. That's all, just an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyways, <laughs> looking forward to school, as always. Um... Let's all have fun, okay? Um, sure. Yeah, all right. Drew always acts weird whenever Mel is around. And I think I know why. Drew is always so nice and kind. But why is he so awkward whenever I'm around? Maybe I need to be more open to him. That way he won't feel so scared around me. Sandra, what's so funny? Did I miss something? It's nothing, Mel. Nothing at all. I just thought of a joke. Yeah, that's all. Mind telling me as well? Oh, uh, um, actually, uh, I, I forgot what it was. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Sure you did, Sandra. <laughs> no one here knows my secret. Thankfully, my makeup has kept me safe all this time. I just have to keep this up until school ends. N no, I have to keep this up for the rest of my life. No one can ever know my secret. No one.
princess. Where do you think you're going acting all self-righteous? We asked you a question, you thickhead. Do you think you're too good for us now? You're breaking my heart right now. Exactly, Mel. <laughs> Don't get carried away just because all the boys talk to you. It doesn't make you any special. You're still just a nobody, and we are here to put you in your place for good. Please, just... just leave me alone, will you? I have nothing against you two. No, Mel, you can't cry. Not with all the makeup you have. They can't know your secret. Not these two. Not in a million years. Well, 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 aren't you a tough cookie? It's okay, little princess. We have other ways. I won't be satisfied until I see everyone laughing at you, okay? Ew, it's disgusting! You didn't tell us you were really unique too, Mel. Now it all makes sense why you'd hide your true self. Ugh, who would ever be friends with someone like you? Get out of our sight now before my eyes start to puke! I've seen enough for one day. You two are the absolute worst! Just stay away from me! now you've been like this for a whole hour i'm a bit concerned for you what did you tell everyone at school after they found out i'm okay i just told them that i splashed paint on my face everything should be under control i did the best i could listen sweetie you don't have to go through this alone you know just know that i'm here for you whenever you need me mom thank you but for now i I just want some time alone. It's not you, Mom. It's just me. Okay, love. I understand. I guess I'll see you downstairs soon. Ollie's worried sick about you, you know? He's not used to seeing you in such low spirits. Tell him I'll come down soon. And also tell him I'm sorry for making him feel this way. Okay, sweetheart. Well, well, well. I didn't think you'd be here after showing all of us your true colors, you disco ball. That's right, Mel. Did you really think we'd forget so easily? In fact, the whole school knows about your little secret. We all know who you really are under all that makeup. Just leave. Joanne, I have an idea. Why don't we expose her just like how we did yesterday? We can't let this girl hide from us all anymore. Took the words right out of my mouth. Let's get her! <laughs> Much better. Don't you think, Mel? Don't worry, though. Not all of us get to be fortunate in life. You just got a really bad hand, didn't you? I don't know what I would do if I had your cooties or whatever you have. Good luck finding a boyfriend looking like an alien. Now get out of our sights. I don't want to waste my eyes looking at a disco ball like you. <laughs> You two never stop, do you? Get lost and leave me alone! I've had enough! <laughs> 
No, I guess it's true then. Everyone at school has been talking about it. Are you okay, Mel? Talk to me, will you? Okay? Do I look like I'm okay, Drew? Everyone thinks of me as a disco ball who has a weird skin disorder. How do you think I feel? I can't even look at myself anymore. Mel, I... I'm sorry, Mel. I shouldn't have asked that. And what about you, Drew? Do you think of me as a disco ball too? This is the real me. This is who I am. A so-called disco ball who's got a bad hand dealt in life. Will you abandon me too, just like everyone else? Mel, I would never do that to you. What kind of friend would I be if I abandoned you at your worst? Mel, don't call yourself a disco ball just because like you're not everyone else. <laughs> what have I ever done to deserve all this? First my parents, and now this? I can't believe I'm all alone again. Just like that time. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm just meant to be alone. Be proud of who you are, Mel. You know how rare it is for people to be who they are, don't you? None of these people have the courage to do that, but I believe you do. Don't let this hold you back, Mel. It's true. I... If you ask me, I think your skin color changing is really cool. I mean, it makes it super easy for me to know how you're feeling at all times. <laughs> the courage to be myself. Drew, thank you. I really needed to hear that. Your words mean everything to me right now. I can't believe I've been hiding my true self all this time. I should have realized it sooner. Drew, I'm lucky to have someone like you with me. Thank you, Drew. Mel, I... I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now. I know this is probably the worst time to bring it up, but I have to. I want to tell you something important while I still have the courage. Mel, I've liked you for a while now. Not as a friend, but as something more. I, um... I know this is so out of the blue. But I want to say this while I still have the courage. I think you're really cool, Mel. You're always so full of energy and... Um, and courage. Oh god, I'm messing this up, aren't I? Drew, I, I wasn't ready for this. I, I don't know what to say. Just don't say anything, Mel. Just let me hold you close to me, even for a moment. Mel, will you set my feelings towards you? Will you be my girlfriend? Drew, I... Hmm. Well, I am... I guess I'll see you around then, okay? Remember, you don't have to hide who you are anymore. I, um... Hope to talk to you soon, okay? I won't hide any longer, Drew. I'll remember your words. Thank you for everything, Drew. I'll be seeing you around. Prom is just a week away! Are you excited? I've wanted to dance with you for a while now. A little, I guess. I don't know. I've never had a partner for prom before, so I don't know how this works. In fact, this is gonna be my first ever prom. Don't worry, Mel. I'll be there with you. Remember? I'll teach you everything there is to know. Sounds like you've had a lot of partners. Hiding something from me, Drew? How many times have you actually done this? <laughs> it's nothing like that. I've just seen a ton of videos about prom nights, so I'm practically an expert. You can count on me, Mel. So, basically, we will both be complete novices. Jeez, Mel, you don't have to put it like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little disco ball, thinking she's on top of the world just because she's got a boyfriend now. I can't stand to see her happy like this. Look at her being all confident and self-righteous. It just makes me so mad! Ugh. 
Well, Joanne, I don't know about you, but I won't rest until I see her away from our school for good. In fact, I have the perfect plan just for her. Oh, do you now? Let's just say that that skin-changing disco ball won't be walking around with that smug smile for long. I'm going to make sure of that. Count your happy days, Mel, because they won't last for long. <laughs> I like how you're thinking, Jane. I like how you're thinking. Ha, 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 ha.